pretty sure I don't need to know what my parents did in college. I mean, there are just some things I don't need to know. And they don't need to know what I did in college either. We're gonna make it up to the Bob Watson. He used to be Summers. She's had him since she was three years old. Now she never even looks at him now. <laughs> Let me tell you, being a single mom to a brilliant brat was fucking hard. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? A little about me. In the 60s, I used to be a hippie. A genuine, real deal, standing right in front of you. Class A, great American, hippie. <laughs> I know, I know, hippy dippy. Just a bunch of screaming and yelling, right? But things really happened back then. A lot of really amazing things. I mean, yes, of course, there was lots of drugs and sex and rock and roll and, you know, pretty much like today, right? But things happened. I mean, more women now get advanced college degrees than did then. Obama was just elected president. Hello? This is fucking amazing. And the seeds of this were sown back in the 60s by us hippies. <laughs> I tell my daughter about these things now. She doesn't want to hear it. Hey, Mom, why should I listen to you? You had your day. You fucked everything up. We did not. We did the best we could. So why does every guy I bang go running in the other direction? Hey, Mom. Hey. What's up? Just talking to Bob Watson here. What are you doing with my teddy bear? I'm just reminiscing a little bit. Are you talking about that time you were with that swami in India? No, sweetheart. I'm talking about that time I was fucking two guys on a really amazing acid trip. Hey! Oh, give him to me. Come on. No. Fine. <laughs> it's not that important. It's just a bear. Then why are we talking to him? He helps me talk. He loosens things up a bit. You need any more loosening. <laughs> <laughs>